Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gino 99. We're on TV here for the uh, Whalers uh, game. Dick Herman, Dennis Cameron, Jules Emery Pellring joining us, and uh, we're in the Harbor Fuel pregame show. Harbor Fuel Oil Corp. Over 35 years, dependable service, offering 24-hour service, fuel oil, gasoline, diesel, budget programs, and senior prices. Call 228-2411. Harbor Fuel Oil. Okay, we see the co-captains out there, Dennis, and uh, for Nantucket, who do we have? Cooper Voigt, co-captain, uh, and Dylan Perry, number four. And it looks like uh, Nantucket has won the toss and will receive, and uh, they will t also have the wind in the first period. Fairly good wind blowing here today, Dick. Uh, yeah, it's blowing it's, out of the southwest. It's rare that you get both uh, ball and wind in the first quarter. That means that uh, you should get good field position out of this. Uh, interesting decision there by uh, Bristol Plymouth. You don't know how it played down, but uh, we'll take it. We'll Will, take is, it uh, yeah. Will is coming into this one after a uh, tough, uh, I, I, I know you were away last week, a tough Millers team was here. Boy, were they, were they hitters. They, uh, they were very physical. Two divisions up, uh, that's what you expect. Bristol Plymouth here, we're only one division up, but uh, we've, we've gone against the Mayflower Lodge here twice already this year, one on one with them. We're going to have the national anthem now. Tanisha Baptiste usually sings it. Stripes and bright stars through the payroll of spies. For the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket red glare, the bombs bursting in air, came through. Good job by Tanisha out there singing the national anthem. Again, we're in the Harbor Field pregame show. Dennis, you know, Nantucket, the non-league uh, schedule, and this is the uh, the fifth, one and three, but all four of the teams that they have played only have one loss. Pope John, uh, three and one. Blue Hills, four and one. Bishop Conley, the team they beat is three and one. And I, I take that back. The team they're playing tonight, Bristol Plymouth, uh, is uh, two and two, I believe. So oh, no, they're Dick. I'm sorry, they're zero and four. Zero and four. All right. So but they've lost uh, four games that th by close margins. They last week they lost in six overtimes to Coyle Cassidy. I, I saw I saw that game. Yes, and uh, so this will be the uh, first non winning game, uh, a non-winning team that Nantucket will have a game with, but uh, looking down at Bristol Plymouth, they look a little young on the young side. You can't tell that so much, but uh, body yeah. language and so forth, they look you, a little on the young over side. Over the years, the one thing you always knew when you play Bristol Plymouth is they're going to hit you in the mouth. You have to be ready to play. They're going to they're gonna hit you. They might not be the best skill team, but they're, you know they're going to block and tackle high. Okay, we have the kickoff coming up. Kickoff brought to us by... Sea Grill, Island Lumber, Humphreys Electric, Island Pharmacy, Martinburg Painting, Out of Glass Window Treatments, Island Variety, Dave Goodman Tile, Cam Appliance, Rooks Paint and Maintenance, Matic Marine, Nantucket Insurance, Lindsay Inc., Fairgrounds Pub, Harbor Fuel, Don Allen, Island Lumber, Joe Rapaki, Killen Real Estate, Condon and Coleman, Rock Insurance, Axe Screen and Window Repair, Santos Rubbish, Island Carpets, Inquire and Mirror, Chicken Box, Furry Friends of Nantucket. Big thanks to all of our sponsors. What an exciting kickoff there, Dennis, is our sponsors being red. What do we know? We, th we thought we'd get them red before the play, but the pass, what, breaks three or four tackles right in the middle of the field, goes up right yeah, up the center. I, just as we was talking about how they're going to hit you, they didn't tackle us all. 
So Brian to pass, beautiful run. Uh, right up the middle, and uh, Nantucket's on the scoreboard. And there, there's, the, there's the wind effect there, Dennis, because that kick went up in the air, it hung there, the pass took it at about the uh, 32, so True. it goes as a 68 uh, return, and uh, three or four tackles, as uh, Jules was reading the ads, right in front of me, I'm looking at Patrick, he, he broke two or three of them right in front of us here at the 50. Bad snap, but a good kick, and Brian to pass, makes it seven to nothing, Wills. Okay, 13 seconds in, Dennis, and Nantucket has a seven to nothing lead here. And that uh, touchdown was brought to us by? We've got you covered. Island Pharmacy out of town at 122 Pleasant Street. Nantucket Pharmacy in town at 45 Main. Also, Island Variety, toys, gifts, and party supplies. So let's see if that gives uh, Nantucket a little boost there. They, they should be uh, Big fly, flying high right now, coming out. Uh. But, the, but the big thing, but big thing, Dick, I mean, the bad news for Bristol Plymouth is they, they gave up a touchdown. The good news for them is they have most of the game worth to play. Less 13 seconds. Yeah, full game ahead of them here now. But... Uh, they, they must be really young because I, I just heard the coach over here, uh, the scout coach up here talking downstairs saying, do the kids really know where to line up there on the kickoff? So okay, maybe Yos it's a work in progress. Yosef Valley, one of their captains, is back deep and the ball is going to be picked up by him and kicked around and goes out of bounds. Brent Will has got another break. Yeah, bouncing ball there. The receiver can't, uh, return man can't bring it in. He kicks it a couple of times and... Uh, Good that he kicked it out of bounds because he could have kicked it uh, and left it inbounds. It would have been a free ball. All right, ball spotted on the five yard line. Bristol Plymouth has 95 yards to cover to, to score. So the Nantucket defense uh, seems to be improving each week. Last week they had a tough time with uh, Millis's uh, passing game for some strange reason. Okay, Bristol Plymouth in the eye, they use motion, and the ball goes to the first man through. Good job by the defense. Number 51 for Nantucket on the tackle. And that would be Keegan Bartlett. Nice start. Yeah, Keegan's been doing a good job. At the end of the game today, to Dennis, we're gonna we're gonna pick our three. Stars, you pick three, we pick three, we compare them and see how well we do, so. Okay. Guys who uh, shine, offense, defense, special teams. Okay, number 14, the quarterback brings them up for Bristol Plymouth. We got motion again, and the ball's a counter. And, and we got a first down carry. Eliza Joseph Alley. Joseph Alley. Jones, he he he, uh, he did well in that game last week against Coral Cassidy, Dennis. He had two touchdowns, 65 and 60. Actually, he had three touchdowns, 65, four touchdowns, 65 yards, 65 yards, five yards, and four yards. He was the big uh, big scorer in that uh, overtime game you were talking about. Colin McGrath, the quarterback, brings him up to the line of scrimmage. And they're in the I formation. And they're going to go with the outside pitch. They're going to block on the corner. Nice tackle. Number 10 for the wheel is Dylan, Dylan O'Connor on the stop. Came up, made the tackle. Dylan's been playing, playing some good defense for the Whalers. But it, second and the two yard gain, second and eight. They got Terrell moved inside there, right? A defensive tackle? Or yeah, is he, you know, he's yeah. still at the end. Oh. Well, no, he's at the end. He's, uh, he's moving around a little bit. He's right on the guard here now. And they go motion. And they go to draw. Nice job. Number 45 for the Whalers. 
Valentino Coleman on a tackle. They're moving, uh, moving Curry around over there a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a third down, third and about five. So, so the coach up here for Bristol has picked that up, Dennis. He's saying that Coleman and Terrell are moving into the, uh, calling them the A gaps. So they'll probably run outside. They just swapped it. They just swapped it. They just swapped it. And they go with the outside counter. And I believe they're going to stop him, Dick. Yeah, they swung it, swung it out too deep there. Couldn't get any uh, any turn up. And he, Dylan I thought Perry. for a second if he cut it up, he was going to have a good game. We got a fourth down and two. And we're going to see their punter, Dick, whoever that is. Number 11, I believe. Is that 11 back? No, that's 14. Colin McGrath, 14. the quarterback. Yep. And pretty good, pretty good kick. Hunter Gray, Hunter Gray. And he brings the ball back across the, the 50 yard line to about the 30 yard line. And then Tucker is down on a 30 yard line. Portions of the first quarter brought to us by. Madikit Marine, full service marina with only over 40 years experience. Come on by 20 North Cambridge Street or call 228-1163. Also Cowboys Meat Market, the island's only full service deli and butcher shop. All natural meats, gourmet takeout, beer and wine and prepared foods. Don't forget to stop by Cowboys for your Thanksgiving turkey. <coughs> okay, the snap comes and the kid is to... Dylan, Dylan O'Connor, pretty good game for Dylan Deck. Yeah, he made a nice uh, defensive play and he opens up there with a nice run. That picks up about six yards here. All right, going to get more than that. You give him about eight or nine. Give him about eight. Second nine, nine yard gain. So the ball's on the 21 yard line. And give to uh, Hunter Gray. Hunter gets the first down. He's hit pretty hard though at the line of, at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, right into the middle of the line there, picks it up. They're talking going to a hurry up offense here. They gotta wait for the chains to be moved though. But he does result in the first down. It'll be first and ten. And, oh, he's got the corner. He should have it. He's got the corner. Pretty close to the goal line. Trying to drag himself in there. I think he got pushed out at the one. So a big, uh, big play Beautiful there. Beautiful blocking on the corner, Dick. He had, there was nobody there. Yeah, Bristol Plymouth uh, got, got caught way inside there. Once they get caught way inside there, as you said, the blocking at the corner just opened up a big, big, Lane down that sideline. And we got motion, and then the give to Hunter Gray, and he's going to fall short of the end zone. Run play. Hunter Gray gave about one yard. It looked like the hole was there for Hunter. He didn't uh, push himself through. Quarterback sneak, Dick. Yeah. And we have another touchdown for the Whalers. So the pass gets his second of the day. So we have a uh, extra point coming up. Nantucket with a 13 to nothing lead. This extra point brought to us by. With 30 flights daily, Nantucket Airlines. We're all about this island. 15 minutes to the Cape. Flights on the half hour from Hyannis on the hour from Nantucket. Nantucket Airlines at NantucketAirlines.com. So the pass is uh, kicking uh, also? Yeah, he's got it good. Two for two, kicking department. So he scored all 14 all points. All 14 points. Kind of a better opening quarter than that. No, you Kick can't. off return, quarterback sneak, two extra point kicks. And as the teams come up the field, we'll go back to our ad guy, Jules. 
Thanks, Dick. Congdon and Coleman Real Estate. Experience Island Life, the online resource for real estate sales and rentals. Call 228-5000 or visit congdonandcoleman.com. Experience Island Life. The Steamship Authority, the way to go to Nantucket. Lowest fares for high speed and traditional ferry service. For more info, call 508-477-8600 or book online steamshipauthority.com Okay, Dick, looks like the wheel is uh, the, 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 the decision to uh, take the win has been pretty good for him. Yes, it worked out very well. So, uh, the win, the ball, uh, 14 points. Uh, big explosion here for Nantucket. And they, uh, they need this. Coming to the game, one and three, uh, Again, their third matchup in the Mayflower Lives. They're one on one so far, and they're on their way to the second victory right here. Man, yeah, there's a kick. It's going to be out of bounds. Okay, that'll be a penalty there. Ball. Five yarder. Ball goes to 35. So, Bristol What's Plymouth gets control at the 35. I don't know if that's automatic or not now. Let's see, let's see what happens. Change here. It, again? So, it used to be automatic, and then. I thought this happened once this year, and they put it back five yards. Yeah, wait a minute now. They're going to the 40. Whoa. They're going to the 40. So they're going to re-kick it, yeah. Oh, so it's they're going to so re-kick it. Oh. Just when you think you know the rule, they change it again. Do they push the team back? Five? Team goes back five yards, yeah. But our, our old friend, Dennis, from our softball, baseball days, our old friend uh, reared its ugly head yesterday, the infield fly rule. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that in the uh, the Braves? Uh, no, I, I, no, yeah, I, I didn't see it. The Braves. Uh, I heard there was a very controversial ending. Very controversial. Not ending. Uh, two oh, runners fly. on. Infield pop up. The shortstop goes back. It's in. It's in shot left field. He sort of looks like he stops. At that point, the umpire calls infield fly. He gets away from it. The left fielder can't reach it, and they they call the batter out. That's a good kick. And Bristol Plymouth gets the ball almost out to the 40-yard line. So a good run back there. But one more thing on that, Dennis. I was listening to a few uh, talk shows today. I was riding around in my truck, and the people calling in had no idea what the infield fly was. You're kidding me. <laughs> they were calling in. they saying, how can you call a guy out when the ball, nobody touches the ball? And uh -huh. what, what does infield fly mean? The ball was out, <laughs> shot left field. <laughs> It was really funny. <laughs> Explain to people what it is. <laughs> the infield fly rule is if the umpire, in his judgment, the umpire thinks the ball should be caught or could be caught, it's supposed to protect the runners so that the guy doesn't drop it on purpose and get a double play. Double That's play, what the rule right. was about. But the play yesterday was uh, out and shot left field, so it wasn't really near the infield. All right, this and is Buck with Dick, number 33 carrying. Uh, Andrew Lefebvre. And, and if the flip side of it, Gino, is that the umpire did not call it right away. He, you Delay know, call? He, he called it very late. And somebody put a, a clock on it, and the play took seven seconds, and he called it like at the 6.1 second mark. Baltimore did a nice job on uh, the Rangers. Let's hope they can continue and do it on the Yankees. <laughs> All right, we got uh, second down and eight. Up the middle, good job, nice tackle. Number 52 for the Whalers. Jake Pearl on his first tackle today. Jake cracked right through there nicely, knocked him right down at the line of scrimmage, bringing up a third and eight. The first game I did, Jake was all over the field making tackles. Yeah, Gino saying Bristol Plymouth looks small. They do look small, Gino, compared to Millis last week. Millis, Millis had a couple of guys over 300. They had about another five or six in the 270, 280 range. They were a really big a club. Passing situation. They're going to run short side. And coming up to make the tackles, number 23 from Nantucket, uh, Will Ferreira. Yeah, surprisingly, they ran to the short side of the field. And also, uh, Ferreira was getting blocked out, fighting to the outside. And uh, tried to go. Nantucket takes a good time out here. 
making sure that uh, they get their punt uh, return or maybe even punt block set up here. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to punt. So with 2.59 left, the Whalers have another opportunity, Dick with the win. Two guys back, Hunter Gray and Brian DePass. They're, they're going coming up, they're gonna go for it. I Way overthrown. So well, they take over on downs, Dick. So Nantucket takes over on downs here as Bristol Plymouth, big gamble there, throwing their first pass of the day. Come on by Don Allen Ford. New and used vehicles now offering quick lane service plus 24 hour towing and roadside assist. Visit DonAllenFord.com or call 508 228 0134. I guess when you're losing by 14, Dennis, you take chances, but I, I think it was really a little bit too early to oh, try that definitely. chance. Oh, definitely. Hunter Gray, Hunter Gray. Spinning away, Hunter keeps going. Oh. And he gets knocked down after about a 25-yard gain. Yeah, That's big, uh, big run there by 20. Hunter. And they're gonna spot a dick on about the 15. So Hunter uh, really. Uh, Show some good running here, but kudos to the offensive line for the Whalers. They're, they're getting some good blocks, helmet on helmet there, and uh, pushing uh, the Bristol Plymouth defensive line back. Hunter Gray uh, would not go down, too. He broke about four tackles. And the pass cuts inside. Keeps his feet moving. Nice game, Deck. Probably about six or seven yards. A little inside trap there. Nice block by Dylan Perry coming back from the wingbacker spot. Haven't, haven't seen that yet this year. Dylan uh, goes in motion a lot there, sometimes gets the ball, sometimes just keeps going. This time he uh, cracks back on the uh, either the nose or the, the right guard who slides through. We have a timeout on the field with uh, two minutes to go in the first quarter. Nantucket leading 14 to nothing. The Seagrill at 45 Sparks Ave, 3 2 5 Five seven zero zero. Where the locals go for great seafood. Now serving lunch and dinner Monday through Saturday. Are you ready for some football? Make Fairgrounds and Pudley's Pub your football headquarters. Go Whalers from Fairgrounds Restaurant, 27 Fairgrounds Road, 228-4095. So timeout on the uh, field here. Uh, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking at the Whalers. Uh, the way they're playing today, they, they they're improving each game, but. I'm looking at Bristol Plymouth compared to you know Millis of last week, Blue Hills of uh, two weeks ago. I didn't see the uh, Bishop Conley game. I did see some film on the on the uh, Pope John game. S Bristol Plymouth is not in uh, the caliber of any of those four teams. I, I I would say that Blue Hills will handle Bristol Plymouth easy within the league. I'm pretty sure that Bishop Conley, uh, even though I didn't see that game, will 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 give them a game also. So. You know, Nantucket getting a easier opponent in their fifth and uh, last of the non-league games, except for the Island Cup game at the end of the year. Start the league next week, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. And he goes to the He's got the corner. Going to go right for the flag. He's in. Wow. They're doing a great job blocking the corners, Dick. So that was an eight-yard run by uh, Perry. And there was nobody out there to tackle. Nobody. Well, there was no, there was nobody there on, on the passes run either. Bristol Plymouth is really in tight there. They, 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 they got that corner made, and his uh, the pass, kicking his third extra point here in the first quarter. Still almost uh, 151 left, and they got a flag. Flag. flag on the play. I think we have an um, um, illegal motion on there. Okay. Movement on the field. I, I think Russell Plymouth might have jumped offside. 
No decline, so the score is good. So Nantucket will decline the offside by Bristol Plymouth. 21 to nothing here in the first quarter. Over to Jules. Albert G. Brock Insurance Company wants to wish each and every student the very best year. Brock Insurance is here to provide you with all your insurance needs. 228-0104. Island Lumber at Lo One Pulpus Road. Island Lumber says go whalers. Rain or shine, Island Lumber is always on time. Also brought to you by Madiket Marine, Yamaha Sales and Service and Storage Facilities. Proud sponsor of Whaler Sports. 228 Four, five, two, seven. So the Mayflower Small uh, gets started next week. Near Tucker on the road, going up to uh, West Bridgewater. Yep. They're always a tough opponent. Always. And what's West Bridgewater record going in? Coming in. Uh, coming in uh, this weekend. Upper Cape, I said, is uh, non-league. They're three and zero. Oh. Holbrook is 2-0, oh. Old Colony 2-1, two West Bridgewater 2-2 two two in their non-league games. Uh, Nantucket 1-3 in their non-league games, South Shore Volk 0-4 oh in their non-league games. But you know that when you go up to West Bridgewater on the road, it's always, uh, always difficult. And there's a nice kick that's going to go probably out of bounds. <laughs> oh boy. So. So I think I would put the ball on the wherever it Kick it straight, right. What are they doing kicking it wide for? Are they going to make him take the penalty? Kick again. So the, uh, the camera people for Bristol Plymouth just showed up. And uh, that, that uh, boat traffic, Gino, they must have got lost downtown. They're blocking, yeah. they're blocking Jules' view now over there, though. <laughs> I don't, Jules, okay. Jules doesn't mind the new view, though. <laughs> and number six for Bristol Plymouth takes the ball and gets a pretty good gain. Eliza Jones is the, was the ball carrier. As I said, Elijah scored four touchdowns last week against Coyle Cassidy, and uh, you know, it's, you think about that score last week, taking Coyle Cassidy to six overtimes, and what we're doing to him tonight. Could, can we compete against Coyle Cassidy? Uh, on paper, you wouldn't think so, but probably, uh, probably can. But probably, the, probably the way this is going, I would say yes. I, I think. Well, I mean, first of all, coming down here and traveling, I hate to make. Oh, it, oh I agree with that. Nantucket does have a home field advantage. And then, and then you got they. They gave up the win right off the bat. So they the altitude. And yeah, the, uh, the altitude. <laughs> <laughs> the okay, teams. Oh, here's the passing game. Nice. Oh, oh, he had a perfect throw. Took a real shot from Brian oh, to pass. Yeah. yeah. He just dropped that. The teams that do well here at Nantucket Dennis are usually the teams that come here on a regular basis and get used to it. Now Bristol Plymouth hasn't been here in a while, but you know Millis, who came here last week. Didn't have any problem, but they were a physical team. I, I, I predict Millis to win their league. I predict them to go back to the bowl. They beat up on uh, Dover Sherborn uh, in the, their league game. They, they were a good club. But usually, you know, Bristol Plymouth hasn't been here in a few years. They got a young club, as we can see, making a lot of mistakes here early. Yeah. And the quarterback taking the ball. Nice run. Tackled by number 54, Mr. Holgate. Dylan Perry and, and Jonathan Holgate on the tack. So Nantucket's doing a good job on the corners, too, Dick. Picked up eight yards, so it's going to bring up third and two. Bristol Plymouth needs to have a big drive and keep the ball alive, keep, get some first downs. Keep the ball away from the wheels, and it, it, they want make this first down here, so they don't have to punt into the wind again. Yeah, right. And it's 57 seconds left, and they got the motion, and they go to delayed handoff, and they get a first down. Oh, nice run. Tackle by Hunter. Put your helmet on. So Elijah makes the uh, 
First down on that run. Will Ferreira with the tackle for Nantucket. Colin McGrath over talking to the coaching staff, getting the play. The coach was upset with something on that play, one of his players. He didn't have his helmet on. Didn't have his helmet on. Was that during the play, after the play, before the play? The getting sent in and you don't have your helmet on. Not a, uh, not a thing that you want to have happen. Okay, we got motion away to the right and up the middle, straight dive. Okay, Elijah ran into the pile there, Dennis. He had a little bit more room to the outside here. Keegan Bartlett on a tackle that time. And that should be the last play of the first quarter. So we've played one quarter here at Vito Capizzo Stadium. It's your Nantucket Will is 21, the Bristol Plymouth zero. Joe Rapaki, CPA, Five. small firm, big difference. Helping self-employed people on Nantucket with their taxes for over 15 years. Call 228-9090, Joe Rapaki, CPA. The Enquirer and Mirror, Nantucket's newspaper since 1821 www.act.net for all of your Whaler sports stories, photos, and updates. <laughs> Inquire and mirror at act.net. <sighs> furry friends of Nantucket, we care for your furry friends with passion, pet sitting, and care. 332-9198. Furry friends of Nantucket. Island Variety, your source for back to school supplies, party supplies for all occasions. Stop on by for Halloween costumes, candy, and supplies. One Freedom Square, 228 6883. Okay, Dennis, the uh, ball changes hands, so now Bristol Plymouth has the uh, wind. Also down by 21. It's showing a little passing game. They had one out and out drop there. Uh, they let's see third, if they... Third down to one, on the, but the sticker's not there. They get, all right. Is it third and one or third and nine? And the sticker's not right there. The third and nine or third got, one? Hey, you got the stakes wrong there. It's third and one. Second and nine. Oh, second and nine. Second all right. Nine. I'm mixed up. You got me mixed up, Dennis. <laughs> don't, get me, don't get my blood boiling here. Oh, the fumble. Oh, he picked it up. Still looking. Oh, wow. What a play. That was Comedy of errors. It almost, wow. he almost broke free for almost a touchdown. Almost broke free. Dennis, tell me, Dennis is telling me it's third and one. He said that on the clock. <laughs> I was looking at the Dennis, I, I can get confused to my own. Please don't, don't, please don't add to my confusion here. <laughs> he said 31 on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> you told me it's third and one. I'm looking down here, and it's the stick was one the other way from. Well, see, the guy up in the booth, he he read it backwards too. All right, we got an eye formation. A little dyslexic. Third and three this time. Up the oh, up the middle, and he's not going to make it. Nice job by the Whalers. Boy, he just went into the five. He just went into the middle of the line and stopped. Then yeah, Col Coleman Valentino, man, nice stop. When they attack it. it is fourth down. All right, Dick. They're going for it now. Oh, yeah, they, they have They're to go for it. it. Yeah. They have to go for it. But they shouldn't pass the ball. They haven't completed a pass yet. They shouldn't pass the ball here. They, they got to go with their best play in their book and, and call it. I was watching them before before the game, and they nobody was catching anything. Nobody. <laughs> Timeout on the field. Bristol. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got a timeout. Bristol Plymouth uh, did not call the timeout. Nantucket called the timeout. So Nantucket wants to look this over here during the timeout. Island Airlines. More flights, more service. Reservations at 228-7575. 
Also, calling all businesses, would you like to be a sponsor of Whaler Sports here on Geno 99? If so, call 825-8817. You get your ad mentioned during games and also get your phone number and logo showing 24 hours a day in the top right corner on Geno 99. Prices as low as 15 per week and you feel good knowing you're helping bring Whaler Sports to TV, online and now streaming live 24 hours a day on Geno 99. To join our family of sponsors, call 825-8817. So next week we start uh, league games on the road to West Bridgewater. Back here on the 20th, Dennis, Upper Cape. And as I said, Upper Cape undefeated in uh, their non-league games. They're the only ones that beat Pope John wow. on the Cape. Uh, and also uh, October 20th, everybody at home, Marky County, that's homecoming weekend. There'll be a uh, pep rally uh, the night before, Friday night the 19th. On the 20th, the Vineyard comes over here, Dennis. Uh, big day, Vineyard's bringing over boys soccer, girls soccer, and field hockey. They'll be during the, during the day on the 20th. And then we'll be here for the uh, big football game, Nantucket versus Upper Cape, 5 o'clock on Saturday, October 20th. Good job. Oh, nice open Blitz by Jake Pearl. <coughs> Jake Pearl in the backfield there. Big tackle there. Nice defensive call by the Whalers. So the second time today that Nantucket has taken over on downs. Again, Dick, if you want to get a fourth and one, you want to run north to south. I mean, you can't, you know, you, you, you got to be lucky to go outside and get it. Yeah, they uh, they should have been running that, as you say, right up the pipe, and uh, they didn't, and they paid for it. Jake Pearl coming in un virtually untouched. Oh, Dylan O'Connor on the outside, cut, makes the corner, stays in his feet. The, it, it, my, uh, the Whaler backs are running really hard tonight. They're keeping their feet going, Dick. Yeah, they're fired up, and... Uh, that's a sign of a good team if you can show improvement each week, you know, coming into this game. One and three, but uh, they know that the uh, the future is ahead of them. Uh -oh. you, win, you win your Mayflower small, you go back to the bowl. All their backs are keeping their feet moving and picking out those extra yards and breaking tackles today so far. A corner in motion again, and this time it's a draw. Rick Coleman, the carrier. He makes the first down, so it'll be first and ten for the Whalers. Whalers are winning the war up on the line of scrimmage, Dick. The guys in the trenches are doing it. Yeah, that's, that's what usually uh, you have to give the credit to. Motion, motion right, and the same play. And he gets maybe a yard, and the ball came, came out. I think he came out at the end of the play. I don't think yeah. it's a fumble. No, no fumble. He was down. Second down at eight. So they stopped the play that time. He picks up a one. It'll bring up second and nine. Ian Smith standing over the ball, center. Ian does a good job at center. Yeah. He's doing a good job at center. Yeah. Making sure the snap's there and getting his block done. Yeah, we got motion left. And Dylan Perry on the outside makes a cut. Keeps his legs going. And gets that's, pushed out. That's what you're talking about there. Keeping your legs going, looking for that extra yards. And Bristol Plymouth is very timid about coming up and sticking. Third and shot here for the Whalers. They're in four down territory anyways. And they pull, they're gonna go outside. The pass gets the first down. So the pass uh, 
Kicks him about eight or nine yards, gets the ball down inside the 30. Mark it up at the 28. Again, Nantucket using that heavy up offense. Uh, so we got Jack Pitts at left tackle. At left guard. We have Keegan Bartlett, Ian Smith on the center. And they, the guard pulls. There's a little trap play, Dick. Yeah, it's good that you mention those guys on the line because they uh, they don't get their names called that much, but they're doing a the job tonight, that's for sure. Yeah, 79, Robinson Colton, or Colton Robinson, at that uh, right tackle, and 81, the tight end, Korea. And 50, uh, 58, Cooper Voigt. Cooper Voigt, yep. Plus the Plymouth tightens up here a little bit, but again, Nantucket's in four down territory, bringing up third and a long four. Coleman goes out, looked like he got dinged up there a little bit. Come on, get it, get it. Hunter Gray fills in. Hunter uh, has had some good runs already in this game. And the pass, you're gonna get the first down and a little bit more. So that, play, that play's been good for the Whalers today. That picked up two consecutive first down pickups on that same play, Dennis. Yeah. So a nine yard pickup down to what, the 14, first and 10. So Nantucket can get another first down inside the five. Victor Boucher split wide right. Up the pass, up the middle again. It stays in his feet. A fumble. Oh, it. Ball's loose. I think the wheel has got it. It's a touchdown. Wow. We gotta see who got it, Dick. Why did they do that? Dylan Thomas was the last. I mean, Dylan Perry was the last one out of there. I'm not sure who got it. Yeah, number 51, Keegan Bat was around the ball. We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to hold Terrell, off calling in that one. We know Terrell it was a fumble was, uh, around the ball. We'll see if we can uh, find out at halftime as the team heads in the uh, into the field house here. Big 28 to nothing lead and it's 29. Now that makes it 28. 28 rather. So 28 to nothing. The wheels head uh, back up the field for the kickoff. Our private sponsors. Killen Real Estate. Stop by our office at 10 Easy Street or give a call 228-0976. Cowboys Meat Market. Come on by for your Thanksgiving turkeys. A full service deli and butcher shop offering great lunch specials, organic and all natural meats, beer and wine, and delicious prepared meals every day. 228-8776. Come on by Cowboys. Five. Okay, three Rock, Rocky Fox is here, Dennis, Rocky joining us in the Fox. booth. One of our one of our proud one of our proud sponsors here on uh, Wheel of Sports from the box. Rocky does best collect. Rocky's collecting, huh? On behalf of the Boosters Club. Thank you, Rocky, for helping out the Boosters Club and uh, selling some of the uh, 50-50s. Shot kick goes for the up man. Third three. And tackled by uh, Dylan uh, O'Connor. So that was a shot kick. The ball only get up to the 35, but no re Thanks, return on it. Just a uh, a fall on there, and uh, couldn't really get any uh, motion forward. But uh, decent field position here from the shot kick. So Bristol Plymouth will be starting out on the 36. And this first half has been all wheelers. Come on, 
And this is going to be a sweep by the quarterback, and he's got a little alley. Nice reaction by number 52, Jake Pearl. Came over to make the slot. And Jake's feeling the zotes out there now. Moving around, uh, reading the plays, anticipating. We got guys running off. Few new, few new players being substituted in on here. Okay, we got second down and about four. First man oh, through. Good job by the Whalers. You can hear the pad stump, Dick. Yeah. 74 for the Nantucket. Uh, he just came into the game. Just came into the game. Mikel Ludford made the start. 6'2", 275. He's a nice guy to have coming you off your bench. It, you could hear it from here. Hey, pass it up. Let's go. On, Third and three. Waterback sweet keeper. Oh, and boy. Terrell Correa puts an end to that. Big loss for uh, Bristol Plymouth. Yeah, Bristol Plymouth is trying to make the mistake of going outside. They are making the mistake of trying to go outside, put it that way. Yep. And uh, there's no there's no room for them to run outside. The wheels are just too quick and uh, hammer, hammering them at the corners. I, I, I would think one of the real strengths of the wheel of defense is their corner. And they're finally going to punt. And it goes out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Everything kicked that way goes out of bounds. There must be a strong current down there on the sidelines. Well, let's look at the flag, Dick. Timeout on the field. Harbor Fuel Oil Corp. with 24-hour service. Come on by if you're a fuel oil, gasoline, diesel fuel, residential fuels. Also offering automatic fuel delivery. Give a call 228-2411. 24-hour service at 228-2411. The first and ten. Hunter Gray, carry, and he picks up about three, Dick. So three-yard pickup, that'll bring up a second and uh, seven. No, we're going to say it's a no gain. Second and ten. Dylan O'Connor getting the carry. Fumble. And there is a flag on the flag. flag. All right, I saw something come out. I didn't know if it was the ball and or the flag. Uh, let's see who it's going against. That looks like the old hold. It could be. It is a hold, Dick. You can almost tell where the flag lands. <laughs> What's going to be called? Now, Dick, I have to ask you, uh, did, did you uh, get your... Your, your tickets for the raffle? I, I forgot to. Rocky, I turned around and Rocky was gone. I, that, this is a... That's a, that's a, a first. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> I'll sell you mine for $10. Your mine. <laughs> <laughs> what does the raffle do? 50-50, you get 50 half 50. of the pot. We have a runner this year. Jules, Jules can run over there for us. We, we, <laughs> we, have, we won't have to make that long trip across the field. Rocky may be back. I'll run him down if he goes back. I couldn't believe it when I didn't see you uh, flashing cash. <laughs> that is a first, I know. Well, here comes the AD man. He's gonna get those lights on, I bet. Although it's not that dark yet, but it'll get them ready for the second half. A lot more fans here from the opening kickoff, Dennis. So the. Uh, Oh yeah, oh, five o'clock start. There was a little nil, but the fans yeah. are keep coming in, keep coming in. We got a good crowd. Boost Club check over there cooking up. 
Remember, the Boost Club meets each and every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, to talk about football, soccer, and field hockey. And outside is Dylan Perry, cuts it out, and gets knocked out of bounds. Long way from the first down. Yeah, that was a nice kick out to the outside block there. Uh, Dylan yeah, didn't read it. He, he went to the outside. He cut it inside. He we have a fourth down, I believe. Oh, that's the end of the half. So we played one half here. Nantucket 28, Bristol Plymouth 0. Let's see if we can find out.